Is it on? Yeah, Turn it's on. on. Yeah, it's on. Yo, it's on. I, you guys will never believe what's going on right now. Me and Paul are in the middle of the road. I'm about to walk off the road and hit my head on the tree on accident because I can't see anything while I'm walking. We're on our way to film a different video, right? And there, we see a bunch of cops start walking down the street and they have dogs. And we're like, what the hell's going on? So I go, how's it going, officer? And he just goes, fine. Completely ignores me. Walks by me. We're like, okay, that's weird. Why do they have dogs? They're probably looking for somebody like on these streets, right? A few seconds go by. We see two, not one, but two helicopters with spotlights coming down on us, around us, around the area. We're like, yo, they're definitely 100% looking for somebody. And we don't know if it's like a murder case or if somebody's just running from the cops because they broke into a house. We don't know what it is. I came up with a bright idea where I want to go investigate it myself. And obviously I can't go to the cops and say, hey, can I tag along with you guys? I'm sure that's just not how things are done. So we're just kind of going behind the scenes, me and you, me and the Duffies, and that's it, baby. Let's freaking get it. I want to see what's going on right now. What's going on in the dark, in the night? First, we were in the woods and we we're thinking, yo, are they looking for us? Like, what do we do? But then, did you hear that? Oh my. It sounds like gunshots, bro. They're manhunting somebody outside of my house right now. There's cops walking around with cop dogs. Probably not safe for me to go up to the cops and say, hey, can I help you? So what I did was I just came home first, told Ashley what I'm about to do. I got Paul here and we're going to take the camera and bring a flashlight and try to see if we can eavesdrop on anything that's going on. Ooh, ooh. You want daddy to go out there? <laughs> She's gonna stand here and look pretty with her, with her dog and Mill. Hi, baby. Hi, baby girl. Bye. <laughs> All right, let's go. Which one are we taking today, huh, princess? We got the, uh, we got the machine right here. We got the Lamborghini right here. The Lamborghini, that, that cost me like, you know, 100 racks. We got the, we got the G-Wagon right here. That's like another 300 racks right here. And then we got, of course, the Ferrari over here, the Ferrari GTR. That's like 900 million right there. So, you know, we can roll out in style today, but I don't know if, if we really want to do that because we want to keep a low profile just in case we come across any crazy psychopath. What are you thinking? These. Feet? Yep. Take foot? <laughs> yes, sir. Honestly, that's our best bet if we just walk because what's, what good is it to, to drive around in a car? We want to go in the woods where, you know, the helicopters are actually flying over. Yo, you put your camera up just too late, bro. There's definitely just gunshots. Definitely just, you heard that, right? Yeah, I heard it. Pop, 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 pop. I mean, it could be a firework or something like that, but it's like the middle of winter. Who's doing fireworks right now? That would make no sense. We've been walking for about two blocks now, yo, and I got my fist ready to fight some crime, you know what I'm saying? The dogs are walking that way, and the helicopters went that way. So we're probably gonna end up making a left here and see if we can find like a trail of some sort or woods because the cops are probably gonna keep roaming the streets. But me as an inter- British. I told you, bro. Someone's getting got. Someone, someone's getting the cat busted on them, bro. Anyways, me being as an intellect, I know that if you're running from the cops, you're probably gonna run through the woods or try to hide out somewhere like that. There it is again. I heard someone scream. Yo, come on. Yo, dummies! Now is where things are about to get a wee bit crazy. A wee bit crazy. We're going off trail right now. We just came off the main road. And there's a little trail here. I, I don't think I've ever been down here before. But if I was a serial killer or something crazy, stuff like that, I would probably run from the cops in the woods, not in the streets. And I don't see any cops in these woods, so I'll do the job for them. Don't worry, yo. Duffy's for life. Duffy gang for life, baby. This is about to get sketchy. We come up to a fork in the road. I don't know if the camera can see it. We got that way. This way. And this way. That way looks like it goes to the main road again. Let's go this way. Let's go straight more. Might as well. Thing is, we came ill prepared as well because we hopped right on this. So I have no flashlights, no weapons, nothing. Just my camera. Just you, Duffies. <laughs> so we've been walking for like a few minutes now, probably like three, four minutes. We're on another fork in the road right here. Again, there's three different options that way, that way, or that way. I feel like if we just keep walking straight, it's gonna lead us in the middle of the woods and we're gonna be lost. So I think we should go right here, 
and see where the right takes us. Does that make sense? Because if we keep going straight, like it's just gonna be, we're just gonna go straight forever. Honestly, if I'm running from the cops, I'm making as many turns as possible, not going straight. I just really wish I had a better flashlight than my, my iPhone flashlight. that way had to do something probably something with the cops maybe the cops are that way hmm, probably it makes, no, it makes no sense for us to follow the cops might as well go the other way then the cops are already that way so they're already looking around that way let's go this way that was an op for sure bro there's a cop right there turn the light off turn the light off turn the light off he has his brake lights on Right there, you, uh, the camera can't really see it that well. I'm gonna try to zoom in. Yo, we're literally in the woods right now with a potential serial killer. I hate you. Maybe not serial killer. I like to think the absolute worst all time, but definitely a bad man in the woods with us right now. What, what? Yo, let's turn our lights off and try to get in there a little more. There's clearly people over there. Turn off, turn off, turn off. This is like a good spot right here. Oh my god. Sounds very useful. Bad pouring. I feel bad burying these little kids. Goodbye, y'all. Enjoy yourself. Glitch? Is that you? Holy Calvin. I'm just burying those kids from before. Well. Cletus watching me, I suggest you start going away. If that's the police, I suggest y'all get away now. You're on my property. I'm done digging this hole. So if you want to dig in another hole, I'll start digging again for you. 
some of y'all on the payroll, so I don't know why you're coming over here and messing with us. Dude. You're on to something freaking huge right what, now. What do you think Calvin had in that bag, bro? What do you think? I don't know. Last time we saw Calvin, bro, he had a bloody bag, and people were in the comments saying, yo, it's a head. There's a head in the bag, yo. Replay that clip right now. Hey, hey stay right there. Hey. Name's Calvin McGinley, the seventh. Yeah, here's a piece if y'all want. Oh, oh Look like he buried a white bag of some source. And this time, it's definitely not a deer that was making screaming There's noises. There's no way, because now we know exactly who Calvin is and what he does. Dude, we can potentially tie this to a missing person, bro, and bring justice to somebody. We're going back there right now. We got a shovel. It's a cold one out today, but... It's no gloves, just bangers and banger sweatshirt. Let's just take the car and go back. All right, let's go. I can't really remember what we saw. The whole thing going down. It was over here somewhere. I don't know where. Dude, he didn't even. He didn't even bury. Dude, this Calvin guy sucks. Just pull it out. No, I don't want to put my fingerprints on it. Come on, bro. Dude, I'm just gonna scrape it off. If you get your fingerprints on it, it's over. It's gonna do quick. Get out of here. What do you think it was that he was burying? What do you think it was that he was burying? It feels like... Oh, ew! Is that a body? No, it's watery. Maybe it's... Look at it. It's gushy. All right. Well, don't touch it, don't touch it. Don't do it. I'm just gonna pull it out. Come on. Stop messing Dude, around. Stop being an idiot. You don't want to put your fingerprints on the stuff. Bro, we already have video evidence that wasn't us. So we're trying to help. So just grab it. You overthink this stuff sometimes. Yeah, I'm overthinking it because I'm not trying to go to jail for somebody... Something Bro, we have... Video evidence. You think the cops care? They put people behind cages all every day for no reason. They don't give a crap. It's all corrupt. I'm gonna put my hands over here. Try this. Oh, it's like gooey, bro. I don't like it. It's squishy. Oh, it's just. No, it's just clothes. Is that a person? No, it looks like clothes. Are you sure? That's what it looks like. Yeah, I'm gonna rip it open. Try to be quiet. Looks like. Watch out, move your hand. Let's see. Well, I'm trying to take some stuff out. It looks like it's female clothing. Yeah, it's literally girl clothes. Little. It looks like little girl clothes. It's tiny. Dude, that looks like toilet paper for me. No, this is like a little girl, like little. Ooh, 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 thing. Dude, you're over here freaking out about evidence and you're dancing with the clothes. I know, I'm just saying, you can tell it's a little kid. Alright, I don't really want to go through the rest of this. But, it's definitely some little girl clothes. Because look, another shirt right here. Little as hell. Tiny. What, who fits in this besides like a three-year-old, bro? Yeah, I don't know who. Like a four-year-old. <laughs> Alright. Let's take this stuff. And get it analyzed. Let's get Grab the shovel. Yeah, let's get the heck out of here. Come on. Turn the light off, turn the light off, turn the light off. There's noise coming from over there. Yo, if the cops see me right now, like this, that ain't Shut up, shut up, shut up. Yeah, everything in here is just clothes. I don't like it skeeves me to even touch this stuff, bro. 
You can just tell how dirty and like old. It's freezing cold, first of all. It's like wet, too. It looks like somebody must have been like, it's obviously multiple people because I see male clothing as well. That's like a little boy shirt. There's little girl shirts. It must be a bunch of victims, maybe. Maybe they were kidnapped. Maybe they had to give him a wardrobe because they tried raising it for a little bit. Like, God only knows what this guy did. I, I thought that he only got people, killed them, ate them, called it a day. But it looks like he actually raises them for a few, maybe months or even years because there's obviously plenty of clothes here. Or he just completely, this is just a hundred, like 10 different victims outfits right here. Either or. I'm not sure. But it's literally just clothing, and we need to figure out what we're going to do with all this stuff. What are we going to do, Paul? I don't know. You mentioned the wrong person. What are we... No, no, no. Seriously. It's not a game right now. Like, what are we going to do with all this? Try. We got to try to think about this. Burn it. Burn it? Why? What do we need it for? The reason why we need it is because we need to freaking try to link it to any missing persons to get solid evidence to bring to the police. I don't know, man. If we can link this, any of these clothing, any of this clothing to like a missing person recently, or maybe even years ago, then that's solid evidence to bring to, to the police, bro. That's solid evidence. Or we're going to bring to the police and be like, it's a bag of clothes. I'm like, what do you want to do? Donate it? It's obviously not just a bag of clothes. I don't know, man. Let's see if we can try to link it to somewhere. If not, then I don't know what. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, it can really help me out because I'm completely just mine. It's just going crazy right now I don't know what to think so let me know what you think in the comments Also, if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and you join the journey join the family join the Duffies Yo Duffies are doing nothing but bangers all day every day We're saving the children every day and by that I mean, you know, we got the merch that just dropped it's Save the Children merch Everything about the merch that is being dropped for the holidays is 100% limited edition so it's very very quick to be sold out and if you want it you gotta try to get it as soon as possible because you never know it could be sold out and uh yeah we got the calvin mcginley hat right here because obviously he's a monster and he harms children as you can see so it's kind of just significant to that we're trying to like make a stand against all this human trafficking and you know all that crazy stuff going on in the world so yeah if you want to support it and join the family Get your limited edition merch. There's four different sweatshirts on there right now, and it's the swaggiest sweatshirts you'll ever see. First link in the description, and you'll see it. All this stuff. Better hurry up and get buy it now if you want it for Christmas. Mm -hmm.